In this video, I'm going to show how to update the Ops of Character controller to work with your project and your scene. In this video, I am going to be using the Ultimate Character controller, but the same steps apply no matter what controller variant you are using. So I've just imported the Ultimate Character controller, and one of the things that pops up is this Character Manager window. And you'll notice that there is this warning that says that the default button mappings and layers have not been added. Then it asks if you want to go ahead and add them or update them. I will be selecting this button, but before I do that, I first want to show what it's doing. And to do that, I have the Nolan character selected. And you'll notice that it has no layer. And then also when I hit play, you'll notice that I get a whole bunch of button mapping errors. And the reason for this is because the demo scene uses the Unity Input Manager, and that Input Manager doesn't have all the buttons that the Character Controller requires. So to do that, to update that, I'm going to go back to the Character Manager, click Setup, and then go to the Project tab, and then I'm going to click Update Buttons and Layers. After I do that, you'll notice that the layer updates to the character layer, and also, when I hit play, I will no longer get any more errors. Now, if you're not using the input manager, you're using an input integration, you don't need to update these buttons, but it's good to do when you're just getting started. Also, these layers can be configured as well. So this is all just kind of the default button mappings and layers. But that's all it takes to set up the project. I'm now going to set up a new scene. And to do that, I'm going to create a new scene. And I'm going to go back to the character manager, click setup, and I'm going to add managers. And it will add all the singleton components that are used by the character controller. And then I'm going to add the camera controller components. Since I'm using the ultimate character controller, I'm going to select the both perspective, which allows me to add first and third person. So now I'm going to click set up camera, and you'll notice I now have a camera controller game object. And because I want my game to have the UI, I'm going to add the UI button, and then I'm going to also add virtual controls. And you'll notice that it adds those uh, components. So that's all that it takes in order to set up the scene. Now I'm ready to start configuring my character.